Welcome to District 6 Band and Orchestra Festival. At this time, please make sure that all cell phones are turned off. Please refrain from the use of flash photography during the performance. After the performance, the group will participate in an on-stage clinic with our esteemed MSBOA clinician. Performing next is the Niles High School Symphonic Band under the direction of Connie Wickland. They will be performing Queen City March, arranged by Lafferty, and Incantations by Robert W. Smith. Please join me in welcoming the Niles High School Symphonic Band.
I was just looking at the music as I walked up here. Everything's color coded. <laughs> I thought, holy smokes, I needed sunglasses to <laughs> look at those music stands. But, um, you know, what, uh, yeah, whatever works, I guess, huh? My name is Mike Egan. I'm one of the past presidents of MSBOA and um, retired from the Benson County Central Schools. And what a pleasure it is to be here uh, with you this afternoon. This reminds me of the big bands that we had up there back in the day. But the difference was we didn't have two extraordinary years to get through to get to, get to this point. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. But, um, you know, it, like I say, it's great to see, see such a big band, good instrumentation, everyone knows what they're doing, everyone is doing their thing, good independent playing throughout. And so we're going to talk just a little bit about a few things, but remember, I'm not one of the judges. The judges are all back there. I'm just doing a clinic. I have no say whatsoever in what they write down on the radio. So please don't be listening to that. So what did he give us? So let's take a look at the Queen City March. Let's um, measure nine is what I'm really interested in, but let's go ahead and start at the beginning so we can so we can hit it with a little running start, okay? Okay, I'll sit there. I don't want to rush things. By the way, I love percussionists who tune their own timpani. Thank you. That's that's two big thumbs up. I wish I was I wish I was writing one of the sheets. I'd write that down on it. Here we go from the beginning, please. to have you do is separate just a little bit those half notes, not making them into a short thing. It's not going to be a pop, 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 but more of a, uh, sing it with me. Ready? And ta, 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 ta. Play it like that. Everybody start at nine. gives you a little bit more of a march style. And you can also hear that, that, that crazy good baritone. One of the baritone players, stand up, please. Take a bow. <laughs> you, 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 you two are just, wow. I don't know, whatever, you, whatever you ate for breakfast this morning, eat that every day. <laughs> that just sounds terrific. The, um, uh, just, just beautiful, beautiful job on that. Now, measure 11. When you hit that, that whole note, we're going to do one other thing. Speaking of baritones, we're going to taper that down just a little bit. So it'll be ba 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 like that. And it also gets out of the way of this outstanding flute section because there is this real cool little thing. One, any two, e, any one. And, and I could see the fingers moving, and I could see that you, 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 were, you were doing it because I couldn't hear it. So we're going to get them out of your way. Don't try to overblow, though, because it'll, it'll go sharp on you. Everybody start at measure nine again. Separate the half notes. Taper the whole notes. Do what you do. Here we go. And one, two, measure nine. And I left the clarinet out. I realize you have that too, but I was kind of aiming in that direction. <laughs> but wow, what a big difference. It's just like all of a sudden things just, just open up. It's just it, it, it's so clear that you can hear all of those different parts when you do that. All right, let's go down to measure 27 now. And this is, is kind of a turbocharged version of what I was talking about with the, with the half notes a little while ago in separating the half notes. Now we're going to compress and separate those accents. You're getting the compression part pretty well, the punch at the beginning of the accent. I like that. But we're just going to um, make them a little bit shorter. And French horns, where, where's the French horn section? OK, I'm one of you. Now, right here, we're going to play these things with such a nice compressed separation that we're going to hear those afterbeats. So bring those out because you are the harmony right now. Here we go. 
uh, this is measured, uh, what did I say, 20, 27, is that what I meant to say? Hold on a second, I'm, uh, you know something, I mean, I'm sorry, 20, 21, I'm sorry, this is two measures before that first ending. Are we in the same place now? Yeah. Okay, cool, I'm sorry, that was my fault. Here we go. Accented, uh, compressed and separated accents. One, two, three. <clears throat> okay, and I could actually hear the French horns that time. Now, trombones, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, that little bit right there, it's only forte. You sound so good, and it's such a great, big, powerful section. You don't have to really overblow on that. So back off a little bit, just just a, just a little bit. Don't don't give me the sad face, but uh, back off just a little bit, so you can it can be nice and clear. Bum 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 bum, bum and balance with the tubas over here. Here we go one more time on that two bars before the first inning. One, two. Here we go. Yeah, that's going to work out a whole lot better for you. And just, just think about uh, balancing the parts. Don't overblow anyone else. And, um, and, and compress and separate those accents. Okay, now, um, at 44, clarinets. This is your show right here. This is what you live for. This is what you've got those good reads for. So we're going to start at 44, and we're going to listen for the clarinets over here. It's a great big band. This is exactly what we worked with uh, years ago up at Benzie. And I understand how hard it is to hear all, part, all parts of this, but you can do it. Everybody, start at measure 44 right on the trio where there is a key change that not quite everybody got the memo on the first time through. Here we go, 44. And one, two, here we go. Two. But you're here, 
And you folks held this thing together when the school needed you the most, when your community needed you the most, and when this program needed you the most. You're going to be able to look at this group 10 years from now, 20 years from now. You'll be marching down the street in parade. You'll go to a concert, and you'll be able to tell whoever you're there with. I was there. I was there and kept this thing together. When it could fall apart, it was tough. You haven't failed until you quit trying. You folks never quit trying. That moment that you quit trying, that is the moment of failure. And you folks did not experience that moment of failure. Not for a minute. So, congratulations to you. I'm so impressed with the people who pushed through this uh, the last couple of years. And I wish you nothing but success after success after as you're going through the rest of this year and on, on into the later years. Who are the seniors in this thing? What a way. Holy cow, what a way. You folks, the, the stories you're going to be able to tell, that's, your, your generation will be bound together tighter than any generation I don't, that I know of. All right, you're getting picky, so I'm not. I'll see you later. Take care. Yeah.